homeless in Northeast Ohio being recruited to commit crimes. That's what this man, Gerald Blaylock, is accused of right now. Police say he recruited at least five homeless men. They are also facing felony charges. Our Tara Molina gathering the very latest from investigators in Tara. Police say that man was using the homeless men's names to commit fraud. Yes, Mike, through fraudulent checks and the homeless men involved actually told police when they were picked up at the shelter, they were told they'd be doing legitimate work for the day. It wasn't until they pulled up to these banks that they were made aware of the scheme and told they would be given 10%. They, uh, they originally recruited them to do a construction job. And then uh, as, time, as time went on, they, the, the, the people who were arrested realized, well, wait a second, um, this isn't what it's, we're not doing any construction, but if you think about it, a day of work, uh, you know, eight hours of hard labor or five minutes of walking in a bank and you still get paid the same, they took the, the easier way. Their first call coming from Key Bank. Police called about a suspicious man passing bad checks. I talked to the man, found out he's a homeless, 32-year-old uh, homeless gentleman from Cleveland. Recruited from where he was staying, Lutheran Metropolitan Ministries in Cleveland. The pieces quickly coming together. While we were investigating that, we received word that approximately 30 minutes prior, uh, Rocky River had detained two guys, uh, two gentlemen, also homeless, from the same shelter as our guy, uh, doing the same thing, passing a check. Fairview Park Police following up on reports coming in and arresting Gerald Rashad Blaylock of Georgia outside the hotel he was staying at. Check blanks found in Blaylock's rented car. He recruited the, recruited the men, took them out there, provided the men with the checks, dropped them off at the bank and then gave them the cash and then dropped them off back off at the homeless shelter. Police say he would put the checks in the homeless men's names, then give them 10% back of what they cashed. Reports coming in now from all over the area. Uh, so it's just the tip of the iceberg. North Ridgeville, North Olmsted, Highland Heights, Mansfield, and Elyria. So far. As we gather more information, we're trying to see how, how far reaching this is. With at least five homeless men awaiting charges. Now Fairview Park investigators are focused on finding four suspects they know were working and traveling with Gerald Rashad Blaylock to recruit and commit crimes. They're also working to determine how long this group has been doing this and where. You guys could have broken up a ring here that had done a lot more damage throughout the country. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, we're, I'm very pleased. We, we did, uh, uh, a lot of times, the, the biggest rings are stopped by just city police, city local police officers doing their job. Now, these fake checks were all linked to real accounts. It's not clear yet who the victims are in this case as police continue to investigate this. But they do tell me since this is a fraud case, it's likely the banks will eat the cost here. As far as the Chemin's shelter goes, I did reach out for, to them for a comment. I haven't heard back today. And uh, they, but police tell us that they are aware this is happening and they have warned the men who are staying there. Reporting live in Cleveland, Tara Molina. News 5.